What's going on traders? It's Ricky with Tech Bud Solutions. I'm actually testing out one of the mics that is at my cousin's house. Let me know what you guys think if you guys think this mic quality is any better. Um, but pretty much I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys on talking about a specific topic that was going through the group chat today. Um, and that is, you know, there was a series of multiple red stocks and um, a lot of the traders within Tech Bud Solutions were afraid because overall it was a red day. I do want to remind you guys that we are day traders and although the market and the percentage that you know this stock is seen from the market open is red, it does not mean or does not you know infringe on the, po the possibility or probability um, or potential that this stock specifically has. Um, and what I what I mean by that is again we're buying and selling within the same day. It does not matter how the stock closes as long as we close in the green. So although RNN um, was up two and a half percent, right? That's from market open, and that's in a sense from initially where where it closed at yesterday. Um, so yesterday it closed at about you know 45 cents. Today it closed at 46 cents. So that's what we're actually seeing, the 2.54%. That's the growth that it saw. But did it have more potential? It did. So as you know, it hit its highs at 55 cents. It came crashing back down. And the thing about being a day trader is you have to be able to identify the bounce, you know, where the support's gonna be. And that's what you do, and you perform technical analysis in effort to identify these bounces. And it's about being patient, being consistent, creating a plan when you identify the bounce and sticking to that plan. So understanding that, you know, the resistance for RNN, it was, you know, talked about multiple times within our group, and they were saying, you know, is this something that I would go long on? Definitely not. I can tell based on my one month analysis that overall how RNN stood as a penny stock. Did not I did not see that long-term growth although you know there might be news kind of just uh, saying different than, than what it is that I'm talking about I didn't see that potential so what I wanted to make this video about um, was to remind you guys that we are day traders and that although a stock might see a red day or might not see much growth based on the market open again that does not mean that the possibility uh, or potential in this stock is any less than any other stock, right? Although, um, if anything, um, when these stocks are in the red, then that means it has more potential to grow, uh, just because they tend to have, you know, more um, or tend to have higher volume at these low points because investors, you know, buy at the low points and sell at the high points. So, although a lot of people are writing it down, then that gives opportunity for investors, especially day traders, to buy in. At the low point that we see right here at 40 cents identify that support identify that the resistance overall is at 55 cents but realistically where is it going to bounce and again that's your job as a day trader so you can do use your series of brokerage companies your series of technical analysis and just different types of indicators to identify where that resistance is going to be not only could you have sold this for 10 percent profit plus based on this initial bounce but being able to identify this bounce although you might have not gotten you know at that exact 40 cent mark you could have gotten at you know 41 42 cents as it's showing up with momentum from this bounce okay where's a good price point to sell well based on it kind of hitting a resistance here at 45 cents coming back down holding you know above 43 4 showing you know a new support there and then breaking above this 45 and now showing a resistance around 46 47 that can give you an understanding that you know okay well maybe i should get rid of rnnn first of all when it comes to tech but solutions we don't wholly penny stock overnight so buying it and you know getting it at a good buy point of 41 cents which is you know highly possible based on these five minute increments you essentially had 20 minutes to get in at 41 cents now it's holding right where's a good price to sell every time before you buy you should know where you sell so what you can do is you can go a little bit further back look at the pre-market hours and see what a previous support or resistance was and what you can simply identify was that there was an old support right here at 46 cents and like we know old supports become new resistance levels and it did just that so although you identified the support level before you jump in, you need to know where your resistance is going to be. So I would say, you know, before jumping into RNNN, um, I would have, you know, sold that 45 cents just to be safe, or I could have sold that 46 if I wanted to squeeze in a little bit more. But that potential, although it was in the red at these low points, does not minimize, you know, the true potential that these penny stocks have. And again, I wanted to make this video just to remind you guys that although, you know, multiple stocks might be shown in the shown to be in the red, don't let that discourage you. 
you know you are a day trader remind yourself that every single time you guys trade um, you guys as investors need to identify the potential set up a plan and execute that's what you guys do best you guys are you know the reason you guys are watching this videos are because you guys want to be successful so the only way you're going to be able to do that is to have a plan and to make sure you understand what it is that you're investing and the best way to understand a specific you know investment is to understand you know a good buy point and a good sell point as you can identify the support good buy point resistance good sell point cutting losses anything below the support right setting up this quick plan shows potential in growth and minimizes loss and that's the whole thing about trading penny stocks. So just wanted to make a quick little video reminding you guys um, about what I think, you know, day trading is. And so you guys, you know, don't feel discouraged about, you know, just because stocks are red doesn't mean that you can't jump in. Again, setting up a plan and executing. That's what's going to lead to your success. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. If you guys haven't done so already, the link for the Facebook platform is down below. It is a free Facebook platform that you can join. Um, and we're sitting a little bit over 5,700 members worldwide with all the different platforms that, you know, we have available. Um, and as soon as you join the Facebook platform, it does have these series of links uh, that are for the chat room. So depending on one uh, what type of investor you are, you can join you know, all or just a series of these different chat rooms. Um, and with this, it will allow you access to be able to network with like-minded individuals who you know are experienced or also new to trading. It's a very welcoming environment. So I highly recommend it. If you guys can, you know, we highly recommend for you guys to subscribe um, if you guys you know find the value in that. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing week um, and let's make sure that we end this year on a green note. Take care guys. Baby, don't you let it go.